I'm not an investment advisor. I'm giving the reasons why I suspect DTCC may be using Ripple technology. It's important to understand just how big DTCC is. DTCC controls all stocks, bonds, and derivatives. They're the largest controlling member of the Federal Reserve. In 2017, Ashish Birla mentions a collaboration with the Federal Reserve. Meet Don Donahue, a Ripple advisor and former CEO of DTCC. This project takes a multi-vendor approach. Axcore is Ethereum-based and will be handling the smart contracts for this project. Settlement with Ethereum would be costly. The system will integrate with CLS. Ripple is integrated into the PayPlus software. CLS is using PayPlus. DTCC was originally supposed to go live quarter 2, 2019. PayPlus was also supposed to go live quarter 2, 2019. Coincidence? In September 2018, they tested the interactions between systems. On September 15th, XRP's price surged. A Ripple PDF mentions they have experience with DTCC. An R3 PDF mentions that they are partners with DTCC and CLS. R3 writes a report on derivatives clearing. Managing Director of DTCC. The one thing I would just con um, conclude my participation with saying is that with, with any technology, including this one, uh, part of the idea seems to be um, trying to make changes to the overall market structure to some degree. And I think people's motivations for doing that are, are good and, and they want to deliver on some of the things that we've talked about today, efficiencies and cost savings and the rest. The thing that is interesting though, I think for us as we've continued to spend time on this technology is that when you make any kind of, when you're trying to deliver on a market structure change, there are always trade-offs involved. So I think the key message for, uh, from us at DTCC is it's really important to understand those trade-offs and we've talked about some of them already today. and and. It, in some cases, it, may, it might be that the trade-offs aren't acceptable, so it doesn't make sense pursuing a different market structure. And I'm not here to say that uh, the one we have in the United States is, is, is the perfect one, um, but it operates extraordinarily well. It's actually very, very efficient, at least on the securities uh, trading and processing side. CLS was integrated for post-trade. Um, in the post-trade space in particular, like I said, it's very, it's very cost-effective. It's fractions of a penny per trade. Axcore's Ethereum blockchain would cost more than fractions of a penny. Uh, to settle trade, so um, it could make sense to move to a different structure, but again, there, there will be trade-offs involved. This project has been rescheduled for mid to quarter 4, 2019. Stewart XRP finds a commercial by DTCC showing XRP.